Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can take clothing on a person inside of GIMP and make it transparent. So to get things started, I've brought in two separate images. It's important that the image of the person is separated from the background, because in order for the transparency effect to work, there actually has to be some image data behind it. So, in other words, we need a background behind this person, so that when it's transparent, you actually see something. So the first thing that we have to do is to make a selection of the part of the clothing we want to make transparent. And the best way to get an initial selection is going to be using the freehand select tool. In Photoshop this would be called the lasso. And the reason we need this is that ultimately we want to select by color to get precise results. But we need to cut away some of this gray area because if we just color by select on this gray, the pants will be included too. We don't want that. So we need to make a selection where we isolate the top suit from the bottom pants. So I'm going to make some pin-like selections here by just going a rough border around the person's suit, trying to cut away the bottom part, the pants. Now once we get past the initial gray area, we can be a little sloppier. We don't need to worry too much about these other colors over here. They're not going to be selected when we do a color by selection. So I can just kind of go around here and make some very rough cuts. Now with areas like this, the person's vest, maybe we want to be a little bit precise here because there are some gray-ish areas there. And we can be rough again, get up here to the neck collar. And I'm going to be a little bit precise on this. Doesn't need to be perfect though. And then past that, since it's just reds over here, we can be rough once again. And we just want to keep going all the way around until we get a rough selection of that person's suit. So I'm going to control X now and put it on a new layer. So to create a new layer, you click new layer in the layers window. And I'm going to paste the suit back on exactly how we selected it. Now we don't have a perfect selection yet. We need to do select by color and just grab the gray from the suit. So in order to do that, you choose the Select by Color tool and bump the threshold high enough that it can select these light grays as well as the dark grays and the near black colors and the crevices. So I'm going to select here and uh, and in this case because I kind of already did this I have a really good selection over here so 128 is the threshold I needed here. If you put it down too little you won't get the full suit and if you bump it up too high you'll get things selected that don't really belong. So in that case, 128 is about where we want it. Now we need to separate this on to a new layer once again. So I'm going to control X, new layer, post it on. And now that we have this suit pretty much perfectly selected, the last thing we need to do is to right click on the layer, add layer mask, and choose grayscale copy of the layer. So when we do that, based on how light or dark the color was initially, it's going to make it partially transparent or completely transparent. So by doing that, we get a really nice effect where we can see parts of the suit a little better than others. But overall, it's quite transparent as we look through it and see the background and the nature image behind. So that's essentially how you add transparency to clothing or any other object inside of GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future GIMP content.